it's Bettini Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo on the career mode. We're at Myers, um, I never can remember, Myers Rainforest Conservation Project. And I did a, a little thing in between. I went ahead and just used the um, metal that was here. If we look at the wall here, you see that it's metal plank walls. So I went ahead and used those all around. And I made little areas here. Um, here they're not as clean because there's stuff uh, behind these that I couldn't get rid of. But one thing we need to do before I forget is add a null barrier for this. Because right now it is not considered a habitat. So we need to fix that before we unpause the game and the um, snow leopard gets out. So <laughs> let's go to barriers and we'll go to... We're on null barrier, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to add the null barrier. We'll just go on right outside of the wall. And let's go ahead and just click there and we'll move it. That's easier than trying to move it another way. So what we'll do is, let's bring this length all the way up. Oh, I just realized my sound isn't on the right. Oops. Hold on. There we go. I was wondering why it was so quiet. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put the null barrier around here. Because if we have it inside the wall at all, if the snow leopard comes close to it it'll give us one of those messages that the animals have gotten out and we don't want that right is that not working there we go sometimes it's just a little bit on the temperamental side and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit um a little bit off it's not that big of a deal Unless we had, like, a um, habitat right next to this. And then where is our... There it is. There we go. Okay. And I'm guessing it... It looks like there's a habitat gate right there, but... Let's see. Hmm. Habitat gate. See, it looks like there's one right there. Because that's where the thing is. Let's see. Nope, that was a mistake. Okay. Let's get out of that. I don't know why there's a path there. Hmm, okay. Let's go back to barriers and let's go to habitat gate. Huh, that's weird. Okay. Can we connect it over here? That would be nice. Oh, well. We'll connect it right there. So there's our gate. Um, let's go to paths and we'll go ahead and go to staff. Uh, that's okay. All right, so that should work now, I hope. The only thing is, with the wall the way it is, we're not going to be able to get to the gate. Because we... Um, that might be an issue. Let's see. Can we just double-click on the null barrier? Let's do that. I mean, we could just play and see what happens. We could do that. Yeah, I didn't think of this. So we can't get to the gate to actually click on it. Well, uh, let's see. What are our messages here? It says dangerous animal has escaped. 
And then quarantine quarantine passed. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pick those guys up. And let's go ahead and play it. Let's see what happens. Look at everybody running away. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see what happens. They're all they're still box. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's see what happens after they're put back in. Um, let's see. I got an encoder me message, which I've never gotten before. It's weird. Okay. wonder if I can click on... No, I was trying to click on the door while it was open. <laughs> so far, it looks okay. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and pause. <clears throat> and let's get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and hit H. And let's click on one of these guys. Or this girl. And Habitat. Oh, I forgot. Oops. I forgot to add glass. <laughs> See, that's why we, that's why we try it out first. All right. So <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to do that. All right. <clears throat> so we'll see. Where is the, um, actually, I just want the gate. I mean the barrier. You know what I mean. That is not picking the null barrier. That is picking the, um, okay. Exit down of that. There we go. Okay. So what I want to do is go ahead and select, I guess it doesn't matter if it's too much or not. Um, let's see. Can I pick less than... No. Alright. We'll just pick that then. And let's go with glass. And we don't have any one-way glass, so we're just going to have to deal with this. I'll bring it up like that. So this I'll want to move in a little bit. So I don't want the, that to be sticking out of the uh, thing. We'll move this in. Okay. And then I'll move this down just a tad. There we go. That should be good. And then we want to do that over here. So let's do that. That's a long one, but it's okay. It's fine. We'll go ahead and do glass there. And this, uh, there's not going to be anybody over here, but I thought it would help just to be able to have something over here instead of just having a whole thing of, you know, looking at nothing in your habitat. And then we also, actually, I'm going to add a thing right here. So we can just select that and select uh, window. And that's a little weird looking. So let's move that in. And we'll move this in. I mean, as long as it's just a null barrier, it's not a problem. But if it's glass, you're going to be able to actually see that. So. Okay. See? That, that just looks weird. Don't do that. What I'm going to do here, I think, is go ahead and add one right there. Let's 
Th that side may be a little bit weird, but this will go ahead and just make a null barrier. Okay. Why is that yellow? Not exactly sure, but okay. And and we have this light in here, but we can't do anything about it, so <laughs> it'll be fine. All right, let's go ahead and hit play. Let's go back over here. Oh, come on, get out of the thing. There we go. So let's click on this one. Click on H. And then zoom out. Make sure, okay, we don't have any more escape points. That's awesome. And I think we did good on the space. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of space. Uh, let's take out this tree. Oh, I was like, what just happened? And then uh, I think I want to add a little bit more. Well, their coverage is almost to the max, but it'll be fine. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. So the other animal we have to put in is the okapi. And the main problem with the okapi is it's a very shy animal. Um, cause I was going to put it like, I was going to move the bathroom and put it like right here. Um, oh no, it didn't work. Why'd that not work? Um, where'd you escape from? Right there. Hmm. Okay. Does it just need to be taller there? See, this is... I was going to do this, but I thought, nah, it'll be fine. I was going to go ahead and select this. And go down... Not that way. Go down a little bit. Let's do the one meter wall. And I'll go ahead, oops, a little too much. Go ahead and go down so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so we'll just hit shift and bring it up. So we'll add another one meter wall. I think it's one meter to the top. I don't think we need it all across here because this, is, this gets pretty high over here. But since we started it, we might as well finish it, right? So that is what we'll do. Okay. And then this side just uh, kind of goes into the shop here. Um, let me go ahead and exit out of there. Let's get into this one. And we'll do the same thing, although we'll put it at the bottom. I thought I had all these, but I guess I do not. Let's go ahead and hit Z and bring that. And I didn't, I mean, I don't know why there's all these floating areas. That just makes it really weird. I'll just add these at the bottom here. Okay. But what's weird is it doesn't didn't show it as an escape point. But let's go ahead, get out of that, get out of that. Okay, let's go ahead and get this animal over here. Um, wasn't it over here? I thought it was. I could have sworn this is where I saw it. <laughs> Am I just going nuts? We'll just do call that. Oh no. This isn't going to be good for our zoo. <laughs> it's not going to be good at all. All right, where is our vet? We have a vet, right? 
Okay, I'm wondering... I have a vet, right? Maybe I just need to capture it. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead. I really thought a vet would be coming pretty soon. Let's see. Just go to do go ahead and do emergency capture. I don't know why it's getting out though. Like I really don't. So the only other <laughs> issues is the old copies that are still in quarantine. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and play. We'll see what happens with that. Probably wasn't good for our our money, but here we go. So I was thinking of making uh, the Okapi thing over here. I did a little bit of uh, terraforming, and so let's go ahead. I'm going to go to the Zoopedia, and we'll go to Okapi. I thought it would... Oh, there it goes. I didn't see it. I was like, I thought it would just go to it. Never mind. Okay. Uh, one male, one female. And I think somewhere... Yeah. Relationship with humans is shy. Um, but guests can enter the habitat. See? I don't get that. If you have a shy animal, how are you going to make it where the guests can enter? That just seems weird. I don't know. But... Um, let's see. They're... So, 11,636 feet. Um, grade 2 or greater. Okay. So, let's see. Go ahead and do that. Let's go to barriers. Um, I don't really want to do corrugated. Uh, dilapidation rate is low. Let's do that one. What are the... What are the protesters protesting? I mean, I only have one animal, and it's... I thought it was okay. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna try to just go around here. And then... I made a little area in the back. That should be good to do. I really need to play this so I can make money. Um, what I was thinking was going to Knoll over here, but I don't want to go where whenever the animal gets close. I'm not going to do Knoll. Well, let's just do this. Because whenever the animal gets close to it, it's going to say the animal has escaped and I don't want it to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and that. Okay. So from there, um, let's see, where do we want the gate to be? Let's do... Probably can't do it over there, can we? Unless we do more transform tra terraforming work. Jeez, I can't even talk. Alright, so let's go to paths. And yeah, the the major problem I'm gonna have with these guys is their shyness. Because I know that's what I'm dealing with in uh, my franchise zoo is they are super shy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this natural path. And I never can get the right one, but let's bring up the width a little bit. Let's see, why does it do that? Um, I'll bring it up just a tad more. 
No, I don't want you to connect. I don't know if I want that to be a bridge, but okay. And then let's see if we can connect the staff path here. Oh, wait. I don't need that. That can be all the way down. It is very steep. <laughs> but the people can walk in and leave through this same thing. We might want to make it a little wider if we're going to do that. Just because. I don't think I need to delete that, actually. Let's see. Let's do... Oh, I bet we can't do the grid one here. Can we? Well, we'll just have it go like that. Nope, not like that. Okay. Let's do that. Be a very short path. Like, super short path. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> I wonder if this is the best place for this. No, not the path. I just mean, I wonder if this is the best place for this habitat. How does it connect? Oh my goodness. How about if I hit Z? Is it any better? Actually, that is better. Okay, I saw that a second ago. Where'd it go? Okay, I know I saw a connection here. There we go. Okay, well, nope, that's not, that's not what I said. Okay, there we go. So it's not the best looking, and I don't know if the, well, that doesn't look bad, actually. I think it'll be fine. Okay. So, let's go to, actually, no, I don't want to go to the building, because then it'll make me go all, come all the way back over here. So, let's just close that. And let's pick these guys and move them. Uh, one of the things we will need to do, I'm sure, is edit this. To where it goes. Where it goes up a little bit more. Well, it says 49.3 feet, but sometimes I wonder if these measurements are good. I don't know. We'll see if that works. And they don't have any need for water, but obviously if they want water, it's right here. So I don't think that's bad. Let's see. Before I do that, let's check on H. Although that didn't really matter with the snow leopards, because I thought, I don't know, they still escaped. Alright. So, let's go down the heat map by pressing H. And I was like, that guy's really running over there. Or girl, sorry. Let's see. Yay! Uh, we need at least 350 guests in the zoo. We have 284 right now. Um, they want plants and enrichment. Let's go ahead and go to our vet research. And we got snow leopard. Let's go ahead and change it over to a copy for, for a little bit. And let's see what kind of terrain work they want. 
So we want more soil and a lot less grass. So let's bring the size way up. And um, let's not do intensity that high. I can't check and see what their what they're um, protesting. I thought I was doing pretty good. We only have two animals. Like how bad could it be, right? So I went ahead and terraformed this. Uh, just did, um, you know, flatten to foundation. And uh, it's still, it changed it all green. I guess I have it set where no matter what, when you use the brush or the uh, terraform tool, it will change everything to, um, to the green. They just really do not like grass, do they? They do not like grass at all. All right, let's see. Do they want anything else other than that? Need some rock. Okay. We'll add some rock back here. Just because. I want to, like, vary it up a little bit. That'll be cool. And I'm going to turn the intensity way down. And we'll just paint a little bit of that. Okay. There we go. And technically, I think this over here count. Well, it's not that much much of an over overlay. I was thinking maybe that counts for hard shelter. But let's see, African and tropical. Let's first go to habitat, and we'll go to species. And down to O copy. O copy. Alright. And let's get them some. I think we should do extra large. Let's do that. We'll just give them some extra large bedding over here. Just in case they want to lay down. And let's not forget the water. I know they have natural water in here, but I don't ever like to leave it at just the natural water because you never know. You never know how that's going to uh, pan out there. It, it's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and put their food here. Kind of close to the... Um, kind of close to the uh, guest here. And I think what we're going to need to do, do we have, how many keepers do we have? Uh, staff. Yeah, let's hire another keeper for that. And before we do anything else, I want to add, um, yeah, let's add a keeper hut over here. Because if not, they're going to have to walk a long way to get to the keeper hut. So, let's do, not guest facilities, staff facilities. And we will do a staff room. And a keeper hut. Like that. And obviously we may move these later, but I'm not, not really worried about that just right now. I'm more worried about getting these staff buildings put in. So let's see if we can do this. We can. It looks a little weird, but it works, I guess. There we go. All kinds of weird angles and stuff here. All right. So what we'll do is... Um, I don't know if I've done any... Have I done any work zones in this? I don't think I have. So let's go to work zones and we'll add a new one. We'll add it for these. Probably needs to be a um, transformer here too. But let's call this the Okapi. There we go. And we'll get out of that. Alright, 
and we'll put a keeper into the Okapi. I think that, well, I should probably add a mechanic to that too. Um, and a caretaker. So these probably don't have power. Oh, it does have power. Okay. Awesome. Well, then we don't need to worry about power. Uh, let's do H and look at the power situation. So yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. All right. So we got that. All of this is going off of the entrance, I think. So that's pretty neat. All right. Um, one thing, another thing we do have to add before I forget, because we've got this natural water over here. I want to go ahead and add another facility and we'll add a, um, water treatment. Let's hit H a couple of times. Get rid of that. And I'll go ahead and add it to this. Put it right there. And let's try to connect this all. Like I said, I probably will move these. But for now, I'm just trying to get them all connected. Which this is not. That's what I was afraid of. Here we go. We can kind of do a... That is weird looking. Oops. I clicked out the window. Put it right there. Okay. That should be fine. I think. So, we got our copy in. We'll um, work on making the habitat look a bit better next time. Unfortunately, we are out of time for this one, though. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. Check those out and come over and have some fun over there. If you uh, want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, those are also down below in the description. And um, I would love to see you guys over in Discord and on all the server fun when we uh, play on Thursdays. You, you never know what we're going to play. So it's always, it's always a fun time. And if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, definitely leave those down below in the comment section. I love seeing those and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And until next time, I hope you have a super blessed day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.